براہ راست آپ کو لیے چلیں گے اسلام آباد جہاں پر ترجمان دفتر خارجہ ممتاز زہرا بلوچ ہفتہ وار بریفنگ دے رہی ہیں of the desecration of the Holy Quran in Europe and the situation of minorities in non-OIC countries were also discussed. Pakistan has conveyed its deepest condolences and sympathies to the victims of the earthquake that hit parts of Turkey, Syria and Lebanon on 6th of February, resulting in the loss of precious lives and extensive damage to property. We have extended our heartfelt felt condolences on the tragic loss of life and offered all possible support in the relief efforts. Our support is being delivered in the form of relief assistance and rescue and support teams. Our missions in Turkey and Syria remain in constant touch with the relevant authorities and our community to identify any requirements for the earthquake affected areas and to provide relief to Pakistanis who may be affected by the earthquake. About 23 Pakistanis have been evacuated from Gaziantep University and accommodated in Adana. 16 of them will be evacuated to Pakistan while the rest will be transported to Istanbul. As you are aware, the Kashmir Solidarity Day was observed on 5th of February with traditional zeal and fervor by Pakistanis from all walks of life and Kashmiri diaspora around the world. Yesterday, the Parliament of Pakistan at its joint session unanimously adopted a resolution on Jammu and Kashmir, reiterating Pakistan's unstinted moral, diplomatic and political support to the Kashmir cause. As we speak, an eviction drive is underway in many parts of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. This is the latest in a series of measures aimed at dispossessing the Kashmiri people of their land. Unfortunately, most of the people facing the brunt of the eviction drive are poor and Muslims. Their rights need to be protected. In the recent years, in some states of India, bulldozers have been used to demolish properties of Muslims to terrorize them. Regrettably, that model is now being replicated in IIOJK. It is unfortunate that Indian authorities are using land as a weapon to intimidate the people of IIOJK. We continue to witness disturbing developments in IIOJK. A few days ago, the Indian occupation authorities attacked the office building of the All Parties Huriyat Conference in Rajbagh area of Srinagar. Pakistan condemns this oppressive act which constitutes yet another assault on political freedoms in IIOJK. We believe that the confiscation of brick and mortar buildings cannot coerce the freedom-loving people into subjugation. Pakistan will continue to extend political, diplomatic and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the just and peaceful settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. Lastly, coming to the upcoming visits, Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Rafael Grossi, will visit Pakistan next week from 15 to 16 February 2023. During his two-day visit, he will hold high-level meetings, including with the Foreign Secretary, and undertake visits to different institutions employing nuclear technology in the fields of health, agriculture, industry, and power generation. The visit will provide an opportunity to Pakistan and the IAEA to explore avenues to advance cooperation in peaceful applications of nuclear technology for socio-economic development. I thank you. ترجمان دفتر خارجہ ممتاز زہرا بلوچ ہفتہ وار بریفنگ دے رہی ہیں انہوں نے کہا ہے کہ وزیر خارجہ بلاول بھٹو زرداری فرانس کے دورے پر ہیں بلاول بھٹو اپنے فرانسیسی ہم منصب سے ملاقات بھی کریں گے اسلام آباد میں ترجمان دفتر خارجہ ممتاز زہرا بلوچ کی نیوز بریفنگ اس وقت جاری ہے اور آپ کو بتا رہے ہیں ان کی جانب سے گفتگو ہو رہی وزیر خارجہ بلاول بھٹو کے فرانس کے دورے کے حوالے سے انہوں نے کہا ہے کہ بلاول بھٹو زرداری اپنے ہم منصب فرانسیسی ہم منصب سے بھی ملاقات کریں گے